Okay. Um, this is the second part. This is shading the paper bags. And, and again, we're going to, I like to use my machine tooled edge on my cards or whatever you find around because it helps me keep a nice sharp edge. All right, so we're just going to go in with a nice new piece of charcoal and just throw in the darks all over this whole thing first. Go back and negotiate the lights. And then if we need to, we can pull away the bright whites or we can actually add white if we need it. Okay. So we're going to go in and we're going to... There's a nice light edge, but we're going to make it up there or we're going to race into it on this. So we're just going to get in here and start to shade. That's my alarm. I got my cat needs a, a pill, so my husband will do that. So we're going to shade. We already have, we're going to start to suggest that this is lighter right here. And if we need to, I do have an erase wave. Um, Kleenex and get in there. And you probably gotta speak up a little bit. They can't hear. And it. I need I use my Kleenex to shade. Let me get in here and shade this. And get in here and just start doing all the work. Paper bags. It's best when you're using a paper bag that you find one that um, doesn't have any writing on the side you're drawing. This is a stop and shop bag, and it does have writing on the other side, so I turned it around because um, I don't want to draw the I don't want to draw the uh, the writing and the word. And I'm concerned about the surface of the paper bag. I want to try to get that tonality of the surface because it's in in and of itself we are learning various um, surfaces, so paper cubes for their sharpness, um, glass for its uh, transparency and brightness. So, you know, so we will be using different, we'll be drawing different elements, different silhouette elements for different reasons. So we don't really want to draw, if we can avoid it, all the writing and the company's logo. Okay. So there we have a nice, kind of quickly laid out where I see a lot of my darks on this bag, on this face of the bag. I'm going to leave that up here because there's a lot of lights and darks going on there, and I'm going to negotiate that much slower. But I want to try to get this video done in um, half an hour. The last one, because of the glass, we had to do it in three sections. There's just no way I could do it faster. And um, so I want to try to do that this time. actual glue line where this thing is glued together and there's a nice sharp black right there and I want to keep that if I can from the beginning and I want to control that keep going let's go I want to get in here there's also some light going here on right there so I want to not push too much black charcoal there but this is actually one of the darkest spots right through here that is on my bag. So let's pull that in. This is also very dark. Some interesting lights and darks are going on there. So I'm going to kind of hub around them, just like up there and get back to them because they're a little more detail oriented. So I'll get back to it and play with it. I'm using my hand today because I'm really usually pretty fast. Um, 
And if I need to remove, I'll use my Kleenex. So, actually pretty happy with that. I'm just going to use the dirt on my hands to try to smoosh that a little bit so it doesn't sit out so bright. But actually, you're already starting to get a pretty nice bag. It's not terribly smooth yet. We're going to get back to that. I'm going to drag this cast shadow in here right now. I'm going to make sure my bag stays nice and sharp by my lot with using my machine tooled edge and pulling that charcoal nice and dark. Getting in there and really shaping it fast. It's a little bit fuzzy right here, the edge of it. Kind of a nice, and it's quite sharp right here, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually use it this way, and it does this beautiful thing where it kind of just goes downhill a little bit. So I'm going to get some black and just do that, and that's what it does. And then here, there's a secondary shadow that's not as intense. I need my paper towel here. Okay, and I'm going to just get in there and shade it. And I'm going to go probably this way to get a nice flattened surface that my object, my paper bag is sitting on. And I think that helps, I hope. Makes you see what I've done here. Okay, I'm going to go in quickly and just clean this up happy with that. Okay, that's pretty good. Cast shadow there. Alright, let's go, um, actually let's finish this thing. Um, we're going to do, we're going to use this again. There's a, there's an interesting dip that's going on here, and the edge of the bag is there. The cast shadow is the darkest element, and it comes right along here, but then there's a dip like that. That's really interesting. And I want to make sure I pull it off. And then this whole thing has a, sh a again, an angled shadow going down. Okay, let's make sure that works. That's pretty good. Now there's um that kind of a it's almost like this. There's like this little spot here where the bag actually comes out just a little bit and it creates another one of these almost dark dips like that and a little bit of a cast shadow that's a little more intense. So let's see if that worked. And if I need to to get in here and shape in these cast shadows. It's an interesting drawing class because you spend a lot of time in this murky gray world where you're trying to make darks be the right dark and elements do what you want. But at the same time, the whole thing, other people would look at it and go, but it's all just gray. And it is. It's all layers of gray and black. And that's what's interesting about it. This is a cast shadow. Remember I said I had some interesting lights and darks going on here. So I want to try to create those in my paper. I didn't get it absolutely flat to the wall, but that's okay. It's got a little, little bit of a dip right there. Which is giving me a little bit of hassle while I'm drawing. Alright. I think this should mean that we're pretty much done with the front cast shadow. As long as we don't hit it with our, my body or with my arms, that should be good. All right, now let's get into this. I'm going to get into this upper section and get that done. 
This is one of our brightest lights, so we're going to leave it absolutely alone for now. Boy, I'm dropping everything today. We're going to leave it alone for now. It is going to have to get toned because the overall paper bag has a tone, but we're going to leave it for now. We're going to go in and um, use our card again and shade here. Okay, so this is dark, but it's lighter by the time it gets to this element. So I'm going to overlap the edge there just a little and really work this spot. I'm trying to stay out of your way. wrinkles going on there. So you see that edge where it's the edge is the light is hitting that edge. And now you can see that this has to be toned just a little. So I'm going to take some dark somewhere here and just tone that just a little. Kind of try to create a nice V. That should be good. Nice, very good. You have um, a kind of a brightness on its edge right here. And I have a little dark from my vine. I'm gonna see if I can get it off and make it a little brighter if possible. Let's see what happens when I do that. And I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. My little corner has gotten a little funky right here. So we'll fix that while we're here. And then we'll move on. Okay. That's better. Alright. So we're getting the lightest tone has now been <coughs> defined. Everything now will have to get darker sites for right here. And this little square triangle of light right here. They're almost equal, but they're on white paper, so they're going to end up being quite a bit brighter. Um, so you'll see that when we get there. This is another cast shadow element. Let's put this up to this form here and see if I can get it quickly in. Just keep keep creating these nice tones. We flatten that a little bit. I don't want it quite that flat. So I'm going to go back and shade it just a little more here. Go in with my hand. Because it's not quite so sharp as that side is. But almost. And then we're going to go in here. And we're just going to go back in. Pull some light through here and use our eraser to draw with and get in there and just get that to be a little more light bouncing about and I'm happy with that. There's some elements of that happening here. Okay. And then we need to clean up our edge before we go off the edge of the paper. So let's just do that before we go any further. And I'm pretty happy with that right now. So let's keep going down this edge. We'll come around and then we'll go back to that space. All right, here we go. We have another one of these light lines coming through, um, which gives it a lot of beautiful quality. So we want to try to catch that. <clears throat> Again, we want to try to keep a white edge on this plane right here so that um, <coughs> when we end up having to go back and uh, pull out the charcoal. We're pulling out the least amount of charcoal right there because we want a nice, bright, crisp line. 
a, another lost found contour, but a, a lost found contour that is um is is not is white instead of black. So it's a lost found contour of light, which is not uncommon. You can have an edge that catches light, an edge that catches the dark. As long as you control your outer edges and then shade to make it all work, you pretty much should have no problem with your drawings. All right, let's keep going. I like that. I need this a little darker right here. Now this is like being an ant crawling across the surface. You just start working one section at a time. You don't worry about down here. You're just worrying about this section. And if you do that and you're consistent, when you step back, you've got a beautiful paper bag. Okay. It's a little darker here. goes into this interesting semi-roundy-ish kind of fold, very bright corners. I got to make sure I keep it. This is going to get darker right here. I hope I'm not in the way. I'll get out of the way again. All right. Yeah, you're not. And let's see. I need to control my edge here. I've lost control of my edge. Oh, no. Okay. Pretty, that's looking pretty good. All right, now up here I've got this really um, fancy thing going on. First, we have a little bit of dark. I mean, and I mean a little bit of dark going on right here. It's almost like a fold in the paper, but it's quite it's quite striking. So I wanted to get it in, and I want to get it in. I want to clean. Stepping out of camera frame, sorry. I want to clean. Um, Kleenex because I want to really buff it away. I don't want a lot of it back here, but I do want a little just to indicate background plane um, on this bag study. So a little bit of background plane. You um and you have it over here too. Just a little little bit of shading, nice and sharp. And it comes like that, and it comes down like this, and fades out. You remember our gradation bar study way back from the beginning of class. What's well, it doing exactly the same thing that gradation bar study does? It's creating a nice shadow that slowly fades out. And I like that better. So we just want to fade it, fade it, fade it, fade it out, and that's done. Okay. Now, on this corner, I have an interesting thing going on. Everything else is sharp. This one element right here on this bag is somewhat rounded. So it comes sharply down right here. And I have my arc too high. The arc is down here, not up there. And so I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to go in. I need to go a little below because the thickness of my charcoal is now has to be considered. And here we go. And I fixed that. Eh, I kind of, <coughs> kind of didn't. Let me work on that. <laughs> I made it, but I don't know if I fixed it. Let's see. Let's get in there and fix it properly. I think this is a, this is where we hand draw, and not machine machine edges. I think that's all we have to do. That has to stay there. This has to stay here. Clean that up. That's good. All right, we've got it, but we've got this little bump right here we don't want. So it's so subtle. It's so subtle because it comes at an angle right there. I'm going to try it again with this to try to clean that edge up. We want to just quickly kind of easy bend this in this becomes a corner, and this becomes a rounded corner, okay? And that's pretty much what it's doing. I'm just not sure I have it clearly stated. We'll find out. Let's step back.
Not bad. Okay. So let's um, let's play now with the inside, and then we'll go back and finesse. You're down to eight minutes. Okay, we'll go back and finesse all of these lights and darks. And it is getting harder to get these done quickly because there's a, I want them to be good, but we'll still try to get it done. Let's go. Oh, but I'm getting tired today, so I'm having a hard time drawing fast. All right. All right, let me erase that. I want to, I need my pointy eraser. Where is it? It's in my pocket. And I got it. All right. Let's get into shading the inside of this paper bag. The inside of the paper bag is pretty straightforward. You have to be careful. There's again that bright light, so I'm gonna write, but it's not at all a straight, straight, straight edge. It has some movement and quality to it that's not so machine tool. So we're gonna just do this by hand. Just lighter there, darker right there. And that darkest element is right there. So let's see if we can fit, get this moving fast. it out. I got a little too dark, but that's okay. I've got I've got lots of charcoal to play with and move it around in there. Remember, this is the inside of the bag, so the inside of the bag tends to be a little bit darker than the overall outside of the bag because it's catching shadow in there. sharp space of dark right here. It's important to the drawing. Okay. It's important that we bring this light that I lost right back here. Okay. And there's a nice dark right there. Alright, that's good. to get in here and make some nice darks, some nice darks. Five minutes. Five minutes. Um, I think I'm going to stop this video right here. I don't want to rush it, and unfortunately these last four drawings, I think there's four left, four or five, um, are taking a little longer. So let's stop here, and then I'm going to put up a third video that's called, um, detail. So I'll do um, shading details of paper bag. And then it, sh it shouldn't be too much longer, but hopefully it won't be a full.